I like songs. I appreciate it. Right, and I like melody. Um, I gravitate towards singers and voices. That's my personal taste. The loudest thing on, on my records is usually the vocal. Watching people like Al Schmidt work back in the day, Bruce Swedeen, those guys pushed into compressors a little bit with the vocal. Um, it's quite... Uh, it's quite an old school sort of way of thinking, but essentially when the vocal stops singing, the compressor goes, you know, calms down and the music comes up. Um, I like thinking a bit like that. And I still pretty much work with that methodology, if you like. Hi, welcome to Electric Lady Studio C. Come on in. My regular day is like a, a, probably about half an hour, an hour, getting everything up, vocal, all of it. And then as soon as I start feeling myself wanting to dig in a bit deeper, and that could be EQ or compression. I'm gonna do something on the mix bus before I do it on anything individual, on the whole. Okay. The Manly to me has been the, it's my right hand thing in the studio. It's massive headroom for a start. So I can start where I know in sort of traditional pop music architecture that the chorus is gonna kick in and there's gonna be a, a lot of information. Um, that's where the Manly's gonna start helping me. Quite often I'll, just to give myself a bit of headroom, I might have the manly at plus one or plus two. Um, it just means that, because like all of us, I'm gonna be chasing level in a mix. If I overload the input at the beginning, I've always got somewhere I can fall back to. Rather than recalibrate all my faders or all of the information just in Pro Tools. And also it'll give me a, a sort of hint of where it's gonna go if, I, if I'm driving it that, that much harder on input. I think compression is one of the hardest things to really grasp in what we're doing. Many people, I quickly understood the threshold to ratio thing. That's really obvious and quick. But everything about what I use the Manly for and where it has, I feel, the most flexibility is attack and release. That's all the big changes that I, that I do. Because I predominantly use my Manly for, for mixed bus work, my attack isn't that fast and, you know, I'm not looking for that sort of, you know, brick wall shutting down the end of the world. I've got limiters and plugins that'll help me do that. Um, the Manly, I feel, is just like this lovely warm envelope of help. I don't feel like a, one piece of equipment can colour or, or have so, such an effect on my mix that were it not there, the mix wouldn't be the same thing. Having said that, I've never once felt like um, the man is not offering me what I need in a mix environment. Yeah. So it's been, has it, is it safe to say it's been on everything you've done in the past? Yeah. Two decades? Everything. At times it's not doing nearly as much as you think it's doing and at times it's doing way more than you think it's doing. Um, if you were just to judge the manly by its meters, get another job. <laughs> you know, again it's that culture of like, I grew up listening, not looking. So I'm going to listen to what's happening, and if that pleases me, I'm not, care, I'm not going to be too worried about what's going on there. Having said that, I've never seen my meters go past two on a mix in terms of reduction. Um, I don't know if that's really 2 dB of reduction. At times it sounds like a lot more, but um, that, that would be my, guy, my, my sort of guiding place. If that's hitting two, that's a lot of work for a mix. My most common setting will be 12 o'clock on release, which is, I guess, what you call medium. Jumping around a lot between now is, is from medium recovery to fast. And I'd love to, I don't know what the numbers are, but it's dramatic. Um, and with, with fast release now and sort of contemporary music, like, which is so drum heavy, so uh, percussive, if you like, with lots of sharp transients, the fastest release possible to, to obviously keep transient information at, at, a, at, a, at, you know, at a premium. Compression on the mix bus is uh, it's a really like clearly delineant, you know, clear task. People talk about apparent volume. So the idea of sort of the meters being at zero throughout a mix, but all manner of dynamic information happening within that. Manly really helps with that in quite a seamless way. But by the time I've introduced this and after having it in the system, if you like, of a mix, it's starting to do work that you're not even aware of, if that makes sense. Um, especially in the back end of it, the release. And obviously I'm an operator, not a, um, an electrician by trade, so I don't know what's happening and why, but I love it. Great, so let's, let's listen to it. Okay. So, uh, let's... Um, so this is a, um, uh, the artist is Emily King and a song called This Year. It's a really intimate sounding song, not a lot of vocal effects, not, not 3D information. At the same time, I wanted to keep it 
keep that percussive element and the fastest release helped me for that. So this is a two bar loop of around the chorus area. <laughs> It's very dynamic, 